Um, hello everybody. So today's video is going to be about um basically the last video I made. Uh, like a uh, what are the what do you call it? Like a recap or um, not a recap. Uh, just basically going over about things that I said and things like that because I was very uh, I was very emotional which I mean it happens and a lot of the times I have a hard time controlling certain emotions I don't really f like I don't really ever get angry uh, I don't really ever get Yeah, I don't really ever get angry. I just get really, really sad. And I think uh, when I made that video, I was at my lowest when it came to, like, sadness. And just when I think about certain things about my life, I kind of do just get really sad every once in a while. Um, it doesn't hit me all the time. I don't feel that way all the time. I feel like kind of, kind of okay with being, um, lonely. And it's not because, and it's not like I'm lonely because, um, some like bullshit reasons or anything. I just genuinely do not leave my house. And so it was like. So it's like. That's one of the main reasons why I'm so lonely. Is because for so long in my life, it's like. I don't leave my house. So. Yeah, and that's something I've been trying to work on for the past uh, couple years. I've been trying to do things and that make me uh, um, make me able to communicate with people. Um, I don't know. I just like it seems really hard. Uh, in today's era, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I don't try hard enough to hang out with people. Um, maybe that could be it. Um, also, I just want to say that a lot of you guys have made made a lot of really nice comments towards my last video. I mean, posting a video like that. Uh, it can be very bad, and it can be because you're very vulnerable, and, you know, I put it out there, because that's how I was feeling, and that's how I feel, like, quite a lot, um, but I didn't, I don't want anybody feeling bad for me, that's one thing I hate, I hate, I did say that a lot um it's just something i don't like i've never liked when people felt bad for me like because of my illness because of anything that's going on in my life i don't want anybody feeling bad for me um i just want people to treat me normally you know um just like i'm a regular person i don't want any special treatment i don't want any you know So it's just like, yeah, that's just what I want. I mean, in person or like whatever, I do have a lot of problems communicating with people. I have a lot of problems with isolating myself. I have a lot of problems with um, severe problems with anxiety, social anxiety, um, which has contributed to 
me being alone for the majority of my life. And right now I'm in a good frame of mind to where I can speak about it and not be, you know, really emotional about it. Um, because sometimes my emotions will just flip, 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 flip. Don't even know. They just, uh, change a lot. Um, so I think, uh, so I am good. I'm good for the majority of the time, you know. I, uh, I just, uh. I just need to figure out a way to be able to function because uh, I have a really hard time functioning just uh, regularly. I'm trying to work, uh, trying to get some, see a psychiatrist, I mean not see a psychiatrist, see a therapist that specializes in, you know, cognitive behavior. Um, try to also I'd kind of need a therapist to um that deals with PTSD uh stuff I think that would set me on the right track um it's just uh sometimes and sometimes things in life are just really confusing and weird and I don't quite understand why simple things and simple tasks are like impossible for me I honestly don't understand it like I went to that concert right that I was telling about talking about in my last video oh isn't it it was a lovely experience um but the entire time I felt like I was gonna die before I went there I was like yep if I go I'm 100% dead if I go to this concert, I'm 100% dead. My brain was coming up with every f excuse and everything to be like, yeah, you should not go or you're going to die 100%. And I'm like, and I almost didn't go because I was having panic attacks before I went. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to regret so much that I didn't go to this concert. Because it's my favorite band, you know. It's my favorite band, so I was like, I really want, I need, I need to see them. And while I was there, I was, I was still extremely paranoid. Um, I, it was, I had a hard time focusing because there's, I was on the floor, the main floor. So I, I did not like people being behind me. And so I always had my hands in my pocket, in my pockets, just in case, like, somebody didn't, somebody would try to steal something or something, and I had a, I would always, like, be looking behind me, because I was afraid I was going to get stabbed in the spine, um, random as fuck, you know, schizophrenia brain, you know, does not make sense, um, but I was able to really, really, really enjoy it. Um, and that's a instance in where I push myself to do things that I normally would not do. And it was successful, but the feeling of it, um, is the wor one of the worst feelings you can have. Because I have this thing with my heart where, um, basically I was traumatized, um, a long time ago with my heart um, I'm not gonna go into super details but I had a really massive panic attack it was my first one ever and basically what happened was my heart rate got up to about 160 and every time it beat it felt like lava was being poured on my heart I was in so much pain and I was freaking out. And from that day onwards, I have been so terrified of 
anything heart related. Um, I've become obsessive about it. Um, I've become very, it's just very stressful. Every single day, I think my heart's going to stop any second. Like every second of every day, you know. So it's very stressful to deal with. I don't enjoy dealing with it. That's a so cause to a lot of my issues. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm doing good. Um, I would love to be able to. Um, meet some people, meet some friends, somehow, I don't even know how, I honestly don't, I mean, I have a lot of friends, like, over the internet, but, like, none in person, um, which is, uh, it does suck, um, yeah, it does suck, I mean, I've been wanting, um, Uh, I have no idea what the fuck I was going to say. Um, I wish I knew how to edit my videos or how to <laughs> do anything. It's so like, I don't edit my videos. I put nothing. I just record one take. One takes all it takes. One take. And then I upload it. Uh, I don't even do a thumbnail. I don't know anything about it. I don't know, I, maybe I'm just too, I'm getting that age, <laughs> getting that age where it's like, technology is, uh, you know, too difficult for me, but not really, I just, uh, never really tried to do that stuff, so I, I, I try to make my videos as genuine as, as possible, um, but yeah, I feel like, you know, I'm still young. There's a lot of people out there still young. If you're having uh, problems socially or having finding friends or hanging out with people, you know, life is, it's a long, I mean, a lot of people say it's really short because like a lot of people, the average lifespan is like 77. Um, so for me, I still have a lot of time. I have a lot of time, unless I die young, which, you know, I might, I might die of like a fucking heart attack or something. Uh, I don't know. I, I've had to get echo stress tests done on my heart where it's like, they got to pump, uh, something. I don't know what they do. They pump like some fluid into your veins so they can see your heart better. And I had to be on like a treadmill for to get my heart rate up to like 180. And I think I, I think everything was good. I'm pretty sure because I had an EKG that said I had a heart attack or some shit. I was like, that's cool. I didn't have a heart attack, but I don't know. I exercise. I try to exercise as m the best I can. Um, sometimes my body just feels horrible because of uh, medication. I would assume. Um, always so groggy, so uh, lethargic because of medication, but it's like, you know, if I'm not on medication, you know, I've been off medication before, and it does not go well, so it's like, gotta do it, hopefully they come out with some medications in the upcoming years, where it'll... Be less sedating, because I, I think the main problem is the sedation, to where you're not motivated to do anything, you don't want to do anything. Um, for me, at least, that's how it is for me. Uh, but I think this year, all, all, also, Happy New Year's. Um, this year, I really want to, um, I want to get a place of my own. Uh, I'm going to work on that this year. I want to volunteer. Um, and how, in ways of like helping animals or helping people, um, in need, I would love to do that. So this year I'm going to be hopefully able to do that 
because, you know, motivation and desire to do things is not really my, um, it's not really something I, I struggle with that a lot. But anyways, I'm doing good. Um, I hope, uh, everybody else is doing good. Also, I just want everybody to remember, to remember that you are an, you are important and, um, um, don't, do not look at yourself as a waste of space or useless because you're not just remember that society has made these standards for people um that are just bullshit and a lot of people can't meet those standards because of reasons so it doesn't make you any less of anybody else like so just remember that you're not inferior to anybody you're not superior to anybody you know what i mean so it's just like everybody's human Everybody has problems, you know. You're an important piece to this to this universe, in my opinion. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.